Hello folks, welcome to the final demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to do a complete tour of the eShop. So let's get straight into this. First, this is the customer sign up page of the eShop. In this case, both buyers and sellers are considered as customers. If a customer already had an account, they can use this button to access the sign in page. Alright, this is the view of the sign in page. If a user has forgotten the password of their account, they can use this option to reset it. Since I already have a user account, now I am gonna sign in using that. Ok, now we are in the home page of our eShop. On top of this page, you can see our eShop header section like this. Then we can use this search bar to do our basic product searches. Then on this page, we can see some latest product listings like this. Then by the bottom, you can see our footer section like this. Then by clicking here, we can access our advanced search page. As you can see, this is the view of our advanced search page. We can use options provided in this page to find the exact product that we need. Then using this drop down menu, users can access their profile page. They can use this page to manage their profile settings. If a user need to see products that were added to the watchlist by them, they can use this drop down menu to access the watchlist page. As you can see, this is the view of the watchlist page. Then if a user need to see their shopping cart page, they can click on this icon to access the shopping cart. As you can now see, this is the view of the shopping cart page. People can check out all the products in the shopping cart once using this button here. Then if a person need to see their previous buyings, they can access this purchase history page. As you can now see, this is the view of the purchasing history page. People could give a feedback about their buying experience using this feedback model here. Then if a person want to see and reply messages received by them, they can access messages page using this drop down menu like this. As you can now see this is the view of the messaging page. Then using this drop down menu sellers can access their personal store management page. They can manage products that were listed by themselves to sell using this page. If a seller wants to list a new product to sell, they can use this button to access the add a new product page. As you can now see, this is the view of our add a new product page. Then this is the appearance of a single product view page. People can use this buy now button to purchase the product. For this eShop project, we are using pay here payment gateway to do the purchasing process. Now I am continuing the purchasing process like this. After completing the purchasing process, our eShop is redirecting us to the invoice page. This is the view of the invoice page as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
then if a customer want to contact the administrator directly they can access contact administrator model using this drop down menu this is the view of the contact admin model Then this is the view of the administrator sign in page. Now I am going to demonstrate how to sign in as an administrator. After completing the sign in process our eShop is redirecting us to the admin panel page as you can see now this is the view of the administrator panel Administrator is able to access the manage users page using this navigation fields section like this as you can now see this is the view of the manage users page Then administrators are able to access manage all products page using this navigation fields section like this. This is the view of the manage all products page as you can see. Then this is the view of the eShop selling history page. Administrators are able to access this page using the administrator panel page. So folks that's all I have to demonstrate in this video. Thank you for watching the demonstration. See ya.